makes it worth it. You're like, okay, I got somewhere to go. I, I'm going to go there. It, it's messy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always teasing everyone. I said, if, if people knew what a hot mess I was, they'd be like, what? The high performance guy? I'm like, I'm a total <laughs> hot mess, y'all. I, I, I'm trying to do 50 projects at once, just like you all are trying to do. I'm trying to make it all happen for my family, my friends, the people I, you know, my mentors. Like we're always trying to do a lot for a lot of people. And it's when you are seeing that bigger picture is they, oh, all these little actions are contributing to the whole. Mm -hmm. And all these little actions that I take of integrity adds to the wholeness of my character, of my life, of my reputation, of how people feel about me and how my family feels about me. And I think that's what's really important. It's, it's, it's very easy to get stuck on the times, like you talked about, you ate the cookie dough last night, or last <laughs> week I shared, you know, I said something stupid to my wife and I was like, ugh. And you don't carry that regret or that shame or that, like, that ugh into the new day. When you know that this new day is a new blank page contributing to the book of your vision, right? You're not seven chapters back. You're not in high school. You're not, you know, four days ago. You're not 10 days ago. This is a growth day. A growth day, it's a fresh day, a new day to choose your attitude. It's a great day to say, what do I want of today? How do I want to feel today? How can I cultivate those feelings today? What would I like to inch forward, move forward, push forward, even if it's friggin' exhausting, even if it's tiring? Because you know what? I see that that thing's going to happen. Every writer talks about this, Jamie. It's like the, writing the book is so painful. And you think, oh, I got that done. And then the day after you're done with the book, now you got to think, I got to sell the book. And that's so <laughs> painful. Like she's in launch window, everybody. It's so painful. You have to look out and go, oh, okay. Months from now, you know, thousands and thousands of people are reading the book. Months from now, hundreds of thousands, millions of people someday maybe. And it, it's like having that, that long-term perspective keeps you going. The long-term perspective makes you crawl out of the hard days, crawl out of the pit of the failure, and just keep going. Larry said it in his thing. Uh, uh, I just posted something on Instagram about it. it was, he was saying, you know, you got to get off the porch. And he says, you just, you got to keep showing up. Mm. And how did he do it? He did 60,000 interviews. He kept showing up. No interview was more important than the next interview, the next one. He just, he knew it was adding to the library of his legacy to keep showing up. And that's how you get legends and icons. They just kept showing up. Oprah showed up more than anybody else. She just did. She showed up present, good attitude, ready to serve, and every day. And I'm just telling you, you got to show up, y'all. You want a vision? You want something remarkable in your life? Showing up. Larry King, you know? Mm. Yeah. And I think, you know, well, a couple of quick things. So I'm reading in the comments, what's, what's vision week. So just to kind of recap that, you know, on the growth day morning show, which Brendan and I are here live Monday through Friday. Uh, we just had this, this vision talking about vision. <laughs> we had this vision of what if we just show up, right? What if we just show up live without a script, but with this, this intention just to come together, all of us together in community, people that want to start this habit, this, this part of their morning where it's an extra boost of inspiration and, and joy and connection. And so we are showing up in, in, in the spirit of, of, of serving all together um, and vision week. So the theme this week is vision week. So we're talking all things vision and even how you create your own vision and why is vision important and focus on vision. And, you know, um, Brendan, for everyone who's on here, and by the way, another, another, um, I love reading all of your, uh, your comments down here, but another point down here is, yeah, have vision. Um, I just read a comment really fast, but have vision, but also enjoy each day, right? Because yes. we're also never, never guaranteed um, another day. But vision is so important. And I think for um, so many people, I'm reading uh, Larry and uh, Mary, and I love everyone. So many. Comments, I'm, but... even, I'm seeing on Facebook, like, just so you know, Spain, Japan, Germany, uh, South Africa, uh, Melbourne, Australia, uh, y'all are just lighting us up on, on Facebook and letting us know where you're at. If you're not on, if you're on Instagram, make sure you do the same thing. Yes, we are at the same time every day, 730 Pacific standard time on Instagram right here for you. Also on our Facebook group growth day, you can join us there and, uh, I hope you, you will. And also I think it's so important for people to realize 
this, our vision is to encourage you. We just want to be that sense of encouragement each day, put you in a good attitude, remind you, you own your emotions, you own your feelings, you own your actions, you own the attitude, you own those things, which means you can own the day. Every day can be one. Every day is a good day to grow. We are always saying it at growth day. And we just want to be part of that encouragement, that aliveness, that connection, that meaning that you get to have every day to realize you are not alone in loving personal development, in working on yourself. Even if your family and friends don't read books like you do, watch lives like this. Even if your family and friends totally don't get personal development, you do, we do. So we're here to dork out with you <laughs> every weekday, 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. We'd love to see you every day. Uh, but this week, yep, it's Vision Week. And Vision Week means two things to me, real quick. And I'll come back right quick, uh, Jamie. W one thing it means to me, legacy. Look to the end of your life. Consider the questions you're going to ask yourself at the end of your life and live each day today with intention so you can be happy with the answers to the questions, so you have less regret. Second part about vision is just a personal challenge to look beyond your circumstances. You gotta look beyond your circumstances. That's what vision to me is. You gotta look beyond what's right here, what's now, what's painful. My bank account isn't good. My family doesn't understand. These people made fun of me. This thing sucked and failed, so what? Vision is look beyond the circumstance. Don't limit your vision for your future based on your current circumstances or your current skills because you can grow. That's the whole thing about the growth mindset and growth day. You can grow beyond where you are today and that's hopeful. That should get you out of bed pumped. That should excite you. You should go, oh, I get to try again today. And that trying grows my character. That trying grows my momentum. That trying grows my confidence. That trying grows my legacy. So just be happy to grow every day. Give it another shot. That's the kind of the way I think about vision. So good. Yeah, Sarah in the comments said, I love this. Let's dork out together on personal, yeah. <laughs> personal development. So, so, so two thoughts on what you just shared. And, and by the way, one thing, just to share a true story about this, uh, one of the trips I took to, to visit Brendan and his wife, Denise, I literally sat there. We sat there for 14 hours in a day, 14 hours maybe the longest conversation I've ever had with anybody, I could have gone talking about personal growth and personal development and dreaming and all those things. And like another, like, I don't know. I don't know what poker players do. They, they play like 36 hours straight, 40 hours. Straight. Wow. I could have done that. I love personal growth that much. I just love dorking out on it. Um, but one thing I want to point out is you said, you know, when, when we're, when we set our vision and when we keep that in mind, we, we are able to look past our circumstances, right? And we're able to look past the moment. And I just want to give a shout out to your amazing wife, Denise, for a second, because I don't, I still don't know what you did or what you said that, that you, <laughs> that, that got you in trouble. But what I do know is- I still don't know what I did or said to get her to marry me. Uh -huh. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> so it's a it's a complete mystery to me. It's a mystery. I mean, wives thing, are mysteries. I don't understand. Uh, one thing that's so amazing <laughs> about her, just to call this out, is you posted that <clears throat> note that that she, on Instagram that she wrote you, and if I remember it right, the last line said, "You're like you're doing big things with a heart, yeah. right?" Yeah. In that moment, your partner Denise was able to look past whatever it was you did. You did. I don't even know. And she kept the vision. She reminded you of the vision. She let no, you know. No, I have to tell you the worst right? part. No, no, no. The worst part, she gave me that note midday, and then I screwed up the night together. So oh. it was like she'd actually encouraged me that day, and then later it was just like the stress of the day landed on me, and I did not handle it well at all, which I totally own. I screwed up, said something dumb. And um, no, that was the worst part. It was like, oh, she was so nice she to me earlier today. She was keeping the vision and, oh. <laughs> Brendan, <laughs> dummy. That's why okay. I felt so bad. Never I mind. Like, Jamie, I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, anyone who, okay. anyone screw up something in your relationship this weekend, you know what? <laughs> it's Monday. You can start again. You can it's show appreciation day. again. I keep wandering around and kissing her on the cheek and telling her Aww. I love her like 70 times a day. Maybe one of those 70 might like penetrate, but you know, you do what you got to do. And I think it's so important that y'all just don't give up. Don't yeah. give up on your relationship just because, you know, it sucks in the moment. Don't give up on your career because it sucks in the moment. Don't give up because your first draft sucks. Vision. Mm. Keep marching. Or every new contribution adds to the new greater whole. Mm. Every new effort adds to the new and better tomorrow. 
Every day is a great day to grow. We say that for a reason. It's like it, the sun came up. You got a new to-do list. You got a new chance. Don't give up. Don't give up and don't shame yourself or hate yourself for years gone by or yesterday or last weekend. Cause today it's a different day. Like that's what I was, I point to my, we have this thing, my high performance planner and look every day kind of looks like this. I get to fill it out every day again. Cause it's blank. That's what calendars remind you of. Fresh start, new day. Let's go. Fresh start, new day. And you know, Brendan, a lot of people are asking in the comments, um, uh, how do you set your vision? And, 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 and how do you really start to, to develop that? Because, you know, one, one thing about and then, and how do you remind yourself of it, right? So, so me just trying to give Denise props. So midday, she's reminding you of how big your vision is and she gets it and she supports it. A lot of us, you know, maybe uh, aren't blessed enough to have a partner that's like, you've got a vision and I'm behind you, right? So a lot of us, it's like, oh, you know, how do we show up for ourselves? How do we create a vision? And then how do we write our self-love notes saying, yeah. you've got this, you, you know, you're doing big things. What are your tips for that? Because I know you've coached uh, thousands, probably millions of people on this over the years. I mean, yeah. people like Oprah and her team, you've coached all that kind of stuff. But for all of us here today, what are your tips on, um, on really starting to set your vision and create your vision? Because I think it's, you know, one of the most important things we can do that, that snaps Hands us down. out of the right in front of us situation and, and helps us like, oh, yeah, wait, I'm, I'm called for more. I'm not going to waste my time worrying about this. Yeah. Setback. Well, you and, see a ton of people posting it, like the high performance planner. That's what I held up right now. So I use the high performance planner, which is key to me. Um, but I'll also walk through this. So if, if you weren't with us um, on growth day on Friday, like our members only growth day. So if, if you haven't joined growth day, everybody, yeah, well, you, go share to so, day. you share a little bit about that. Cause I and keep, you can keep get, getting um, DMS on Instagram I'm share. about that. Okay. Perfect. On Friday, I lit them up on Friday. So I went live two or three hours. I can't remember. I think it was two hours on Friday for actual growth day members. So if you're not a growth day member, that means just go to growthday.com and sign up. And I went live for two hours and I taught like, okay, here are some fundamental basic things that I do that really help improve my life. And I already saw someone posting. One of the things I taught people, Jamie, was to text five uh, people encouragement every day. And so every day I text five people encouragement, usually an audio, I give them a little audio, a little more. And I saw someone like, I did my, I did it, I did it. And they're like, they're so pumped. It changes your life. Another thing that will change your life is to have a Sunday practice where on Sundays you look at the 10 major areas of your life, which are things like health, family, friends, mission, um, you know, finances, uh, uh, you know, adventure, uh, learning, blah, blah. And you rate yourself. You're like, okay, how am I doing in these areas? Most people lack vision is because they don't look enough. <laughs> it's like you lack like vision. You got to look at it. So you got to look at the major areas of your life every week and score yourself. That's one. Second, for me, I have this thing we call it my battle board. It's just it's it's like a, a whiteboard pinup board that I have, and I draw out twelve big boxes on it, and each box represents a month. And each month for me, I have a personal and professional development goal or theme. And I write all my major projects and their deadlines and on, on that board. And so I, and then I have all my values up there and a bunch of things. So every day I come in and look, I have my, what makes me happy list is there. How to deal with negative situations. Is there literally, it's a card. It's like, I was actually teaching from it the other day. It's like, here's a card. If something goes wrong in my life, here's the instructions. This mm. card goes up on that board. What makes me happy is on that board. And what I do is I go and I literally, Jamie, I stand in front of the board every day, no matter what, for five minutes. Even if I'm not trying to check off things, or I'm just looking and I'm taking in my life. Here's what makes me happy. Wow. Here's how I would deal with negative situations. Here's the calendar for the year. Here's, uh, you know, these important reminders. And I just look at it and I force my, I set a timer. This is how dorky I am, guys. This is how geeky I am in personal life. I set a timer and I stand in front of it for five minutes, just looking, mm. just letting it all hit my brain again. Cause you know what? Your brain at night functions to let go of memories. Your brain at night is a dishwasher. It's letting go of a lot of information that it took in that it doesn't need for survival. At night, the dish 
washer is going on in your brain. Literally, neurobiologically, you have neurons getting recycled. You have hormones flushing through the brain. Like your repair mechanisms for your whole body are activated at night, including your brain. So if you, for those of you who feel sometimes your memory is really bad in the morning, of course, like neurobiologically, things are happening to release, if you will, some of the stuff around your hippocampus. So this, they find this in neuroscience, right? So for me in the morning, my memory is not super great. And as you know, I'm not much I'm a high caffeine drinker usually. So I need proximity. I stand and I stare at my vision. I don't think, oh, I hope my vision hits me. No, it's on a board. I look at it every day. And by looking at my vision every day, it summons my motivation. It keeps me focused. And if I don't do that, you know what I'll look at? Random crap on the internet, random social media. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll, I'll get down. I'll forget what it's all about. I'll get frustrated. But with that board and then adding to it my daily practice, the high performance planner, which gives me my mindset for the day, tells me what my top priorities are for that specific day, who I need to reach out to that specific day, and my habit scorecard. This is all the high performance planner, right? So I, th those two things, if I don't do that, I'm a rudderless ship at sea. Mm. If I do that, the sails are set. Everyone's on board. We know we're going to the North Star. Let's go. My brain, all the sailors in my brain, let's go. Otherwise, I'm a complete disaster. So that's, how I, <laughs> that's how I do it. Some people meditate on it. Some people pray on it. You got to do whatever. You do. But the vision for me and the board and the daily planner is key. What do you do? So good. I want to say one thing because, you know, I, I've done these with groups of friends and group where we create a vision board, right? A lot of people create vision boards and I think they're so powerful. I believe in, you know, what, what we put out there is it, it, we can manifest all the things. Uh, but you're taking it a whole nother level deeper. So I know we're almost out of time today. I'm going to go there this week because I think a lot of people out there that have created vision boards and they're this and they're that, but yet we still let the day own us right and yes it, it reminds me almost because you have a legit like a whole plan it's not like a vision board it's like oh it's the vision board with the literally the how-to and the plan and everything behind it and it reminds me of like, like the know, rules just, it's yeah. like what i have is, is, is it's not rules it's like the it's the framework so there's i'll show it actually i'll show it tomorrow guys tomorrow at 7 30 yes. i'll show there's my happier card it says this is how to be happy there's my confidence card. This is how to be confident. There's my how to deal with negative reactions or situations card. There's my primary aspiration theory, I call it, which is about mm. what are the main things that are gonna make me feel alive in life? You know, there is my marketing like values and rules about how I want to approach messaging in leading other people. It's like, oh, here's the most important things in growth day, one through five. Like there, it's all right there because I won't remember it. <laughs> You know, <laughs> OMG, I need to look at it every day. All right. I know, I know we got it. We got it. Right. We'll, we'll do that tomorrow. Hey, everybody Good. watching. A couple simple things. If you would do for us, for Jamie and me, if we brought value to you, please right now tag somebody in the comments, mm -hmm. because if they're tagged, they'll see the replay on IGTV or they'll see it here on Facebook. So tag somebody so they get the notification. They can watch this because maybe you know someone who needs to reconnect to their vision, a spouse, a friend, a team member. They lost their motivation, they lost their intention, or they just need some encouragement today like this for free. So just tag somebody in the comments right now so they can find it and see it later. If you're not a member of Growth Day yet, go to growthday.com and join us officially because it's only our official members who not only get replays of these types of things where they can access it in one area, but also our live coaching and training every week with some of the biggest names in personal development starting in February, we are live literally guys every week doing coaching with Jamie, with Mel Robbins. Uh, 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 oh my gosh. So many people right now. Jenna Nick Kutcher. Ortner, Jenna Kutcher, uh, Prince EA, uh, David Bach, uh, Gloria Tonmo, Anthony truck. So many, David, Bach, so many people. So please make sure you join us at growthday.com to be an official member. It's less than a dollar a day for your whole year of personal development locked in y'all. You want to make a symbolic move on your Monday? 
Get signed up at growthday.com. Lock in your personal development for the rest of the year. And then we'll be back here tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with our fancy coffee mugs. Jamie got me my coffee mug. Thank you, Jamie. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. (laughs) Listen, listen. Today's a great day to grow. It's Monday. Go get them. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Brendan. See you in the morning tomorrow. See you, everybody, tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.